Today we're going to talk about the New Warriors and answer the question. Has the New Warriors always been a social justice comic? That's the question today. In the aftermath of Marvel Comics releasing this new trailer and countless articles about this new New Warriors comic book which has some questionable characters in it that I mean, hell, they got a character called Snowflake. Really, Marvel. And Safe Space? But, we're not going to get into that today. What we're going to get into is we're going to take a look back at the New Warriors series and answer the question, have the New Warriors always been a social justice comic book? The original team focused on what type of superheroes they want to be. They didn't want to be the X-Men, they didn't want to be the Fantastic Four, they wanted to be something different. So that was the question posed within this run. What type of heroes do you want to be? The series mainly focused on its leader, Night Thrasher, who formed the team, and part of the thrust of the team was, hey, I need help trying to figure out who killed my mommy and daddy. Um, also, Justice, who... Him and Night Thrasher became pretty close throughout this series. It dealt with, hey, what do you do when you accidentally kill your abusive father? The series lasted 75 issues, and many people look at this as a classic superhero series. What do you think? Now, answer the question. Was this a social justice comic book? It mainly focused on standard superheroes. Yes, there was some personal stuff. The characters, Night Thrasher, Justice, Nova, uh, Firestar, all these characters were humanized and you really got to see these characters for who they really were as people. So, was this a social justice comic book? Before you answer that question, what's a social justice comic? A social justice comic book is basically a comic book where the writer or the publisher is putting someone's personal agendas or ideal, ideological insights before the story and before the characters. Examples of this, anything published by Black Mask, social justice comics, uh, Captain Marvel, Squirrel Girl, books like that. Um, and some people... Heck, they say the X-Men, at least the way they've been written for the last 15, 20 years, have really leaned towards the social justice territory more so than being character-driven stories. Uh, so, you decide, was Volume 1 of The New Warriors a social justice comic? Let me know. Volume 2 of The New Warriors was pretty standard, generic superhero action. And it was a forgettable volume, which mostly consisted of, who really wants to be on this team? It was kind of like a, a revolving door for 11 issues. There was nothing really to talk about. <laughs> That's how forgettable this volume was. So, same question. Was this a social justice warrior comic? You decide. After volume two, the new warriors became plot devices. I hate to say it. It is what it is. If you want to kick off a story, let's throw the New Warriors in there. So let's look at Volume 3 of the New Warriors was used to kick off the Civil War event at Marvel, which had heroes versus heroes over their political ideas of should superheroes have to register, like you register a gun, or can they just go about doing the hero stuff and no one knows who they are? There's no real accountability. So what did the New Warriors do for six issues? Eh, they became re reality stars. Everyone was watching them. And what happened? The New Warriors got themselves killed. Actually, it was 612 people. Boom. Got killed by a villain on live TV. The New Warriors were responsible. At least how that's how the general public and some fans looked at it. Eh, it was the New Warriors' fault. And after this six-issue miniseries, people stopped caring about the New Warriors. Even in the comics, it became kind of like uh, a bad thing to even mention that you were on the New Warriors team. Because people associated the New Warriors with all these people dying. Was this an SJW comic? 
you decide. Volume 4 of the New Warriors. Continuing the theme of using the New Warriors as a plot device, after Scarlet Witch said no more mutants, what happened? A new New Warriors team was born. This time, a new Night Thrasher emerged, who was, spoiler, the original OG Night Thrasher's brother, Bandit. They decided to get some of these D-list mutants like Jubilee and put them on a team, give them some tech, and go about their superhero ways. What they didn't know, he was just using them to go back in time and basically fix the events of the previous series and save his brother and whoever else was along for the ride. Yeah, that didn't work out that well. Long story short, they he ended up going to a future where Night Thrasher, the original, was evil. And when they got back to their own present timeline, they were just like, you know what, I don't, I don't want to do this no more. I quit. I quit. Was this a SJW comic? Let me know. Let me know. You know the weird part? Somehow this lasted 20 issues. It lasted 20 issues. So more than the last two volumes. SJW comic or just a plot device gone wrong just to print more books. Shame me, Marvel. Using poor mutants just to sell books, even the depowered ones. Had who had no affiliation with the New Warriors in at any point. Yet Jubilee was like, yo, I know this guy. I know this guy. Before finding out who it was. Where are we at? Number five? Yes. The fifth volume of New Warriors. Basically it's hey, I can't write the X-Men, so what I'm gonna do is have characters pissed off at the X-Men and write a better story. Or at least attempt to write a story where you're dealing with mutants, humans, aliens, all these different creatures and you're like, hey, you know what? Let's throw in the high evolutionary in there, some celestials, and see what we get. That's what we got. Twelve issues. 12 issues of, actually, it wasn't a bad series. Uh, it was a high concept series of pretty much taking the whole, hey, we have all these different species running around the planet. What is their end game? Uh, what if they get out of hand? Uh, I would have liked to see where this series go went, but unfortunately, after 12 issues, it was canceled. It was pretty much a high-concept X-Men book if you actually had the X-Men integrate and deal with other species other than all mutant everything. So, I wasn't mad at this series. But, you decide. Was this an SJW comic since, well, there you have it. The concept was there. It was more a concept over actual characters. And there was a lot of characters thrown in and out of this book. So, you decide. Was the fifth volume of New Warriors an SJW comic or was it a good story? I liked it, but you decide. Let me know if you read it, what you think. Um, let me know what you think of all these stories. Again, quick review. Volume 1, standard superhero story. Volume 2, forgettable. Volume 3, Hey, let's put them on TV and get a bunch of people killed. Volume 4. What did they do in Volume 4 again? Oh, yeah. They got all the new <laughs> depowered mutants together. Well, a few of them. And they decide, hey, we're going to get some Iron Man armor and go fight and go back in time. Uh, volume 5. Hey, we got all these different species on the planet. Somebody's evolving them. What's going on? The Celestials are going to come and they're going to make another judgment. And notice they always come, but they never destroy the Earth. They never destroy this planet. Why? And now, Volume 6. That's the big thing that people on the Internet are raging about. Volume 6 clearly comes with a SJW agenda and clearly wants people to have a reaction. Is this intentional? 
That's my question. Is Marvel intentionally pissing people off with this new New Warriors reveal of characters named Safe Space, who's an African American character wearing pink, which nothing wrong with wearing pink. Cameron made it popular, but his power is to put force fields around you when you're not feeling safe. And his twin brother, who's a non-binary character named Snowflake. Really? Really? Then you have another character who gets his powers from internet gas. What the? I don't know what that is. Basically, these characters are not characters. They're plot devices. They're stupid. They're memes. The characters themselves are just memes. So, <laughs> do you think the new volume of New Warriors is an SJW comic? Let me know. Let me know. Are people overreacting before act actually reading the series, reading the stories? Or you just, no, not for me. Not even going to read one panel. Let me know. Anyway, I'm the Indie Comic Book Guy. Like, subscribe. I do appreciate you. The channel's still new. We're growing. We're getting better with each video. Thanks to you, your suggestions, your comments. I love you. Like. I really, really love you. Like, tacos. Without the cheese. Because putting tacos on cheese is still wrong. It's still wrong. That's not a taco. Anyway, peace twice.